Hello, today I will show you how to build this tank suspension. And if you're wondering where it's from, it's based off of this luxury tank called Ripsaw. And this is how it looks in Build a Boat. Now let's get started with the tracks. Just follow my steps. Now only use 3.1 and 1.5 tie 5 in the trowel tool to move the tracks around. Place the tracks exactly as I did. There needs to be 31 parts. Now place hinges in between all the gaps and keep using only 1.55 or 3.1 in the trowel tool. And move them out by 0.5. Connect the hinges to the tracks. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. It can even be connected like these examples. Watch out for the plastic on corners that it doesn't connect or stick to other parts. At the gap, we need to place an extended piston which will contract by 3.1 studs. And the track is done. You can test it by lifting it into the air and checking if all the links move nicely. and everything works nicely. Keep following my steps.
This is just a 30 degree circle with a diameter of 2.5 studs. You can make the circle smoother if you want. Now we will make the gears and follow me carefully because the gears are very important. These two rods need to be directly on corners. I will rotate them by 15 and then 10 so I can get a 25 degree angle.
This is going to be another circle with a diameter of 3.5 studs, and you can also make this one smoother if you want. Switch these three hinges for servos and align the dark part of the servo with the metal blocks under. so that the dark part is in the middle of the metal blocks. Change the servo's torque to orange. And wheel torque to orange too. Scale the middle part out by 0.5 and mirror the entire thing. And rotate the servos because mirror tool does not mirror them properly. Now connect the seat only to the wheels and key bind it the same as me.
You can check if you did it correct by sitting in the seat and looking at the corner for key binds. Connect all of the pistons to the switch, and servos are not linked to anything. and make these mechanics invisible and turn collision off. Scale the angled rods by 0.1 into the hinges. Replace these four hinges with servos. Make sure they're in the center of the hinge. Turn their speed up to 50. And these are not linked to anything, so disconnect them if they're connected. Now just save and reload and we can test it. It's pretty hard to break it, it can survive high falls and many crashes, but its biggest weakness are the stages. I will make a tutorial for this tank too, which is literally built to go through the stages.
and maybe even this one just for the fun of it. I will also do tank steering for mobile tutorial, but I need to do some more testing. Thanks for watching.